Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics and in this video we are going to convert a decimal number into its binary equivalent. This YouTube channel is about mathematics, electronics and computer science. So I will be solving this particular problem stepwise on this paper but before that let me request you to please 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 subscribe to the YouTube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time. So let's start the solution of this problem with a big smile on the face. Okay, so the step number one in order to convert a decimal number into its binary equivalent is that we keep on dividing the number given by two and make a list of the remainders obtained. So let's say we have to convert this 45 on this side. So when I divide 45 by two, I get the quotient as 22 and let me make a list of remainders on this side. So the remainder that I get after dividing 45 by 2 is 1. Similarly, we just go and keep on successively dividing the quotient by 2 again. So in the next step, we divide 22 by 2, which gives us the quotient as 11 and the remainder as 0. In the next step, we again divide this 11 by 2 and we get the quotient as 5 with the remainder as 1. In the next step, we again divide this 5 by 2. We get the quotient as 2 and the remainder as 1. In the next step, we divide this 2 again. So this time we get a quotient 1 with a remainder 0. Now in the very last step, when we divide 1 divided by 2, now this basically cannot be a completely divisible, completely divided. So we get the question uh, as let's say zero because we have to shift a decimal with a remainder as one. So now when we have got the complete list of remainders here, the very last digit uh, that is one, this is known as the MSB. That is the most significant bit. And the topmost is known as the LSB, that is the lowest significant bit. So all we do now is move from MSB to LSB. In the same sequence, we prepare a list of remainders. So the very first digit since the MSB is 1. So we start writing the list from downwards to upwards. So here we have 1, then we have 0, then we have this one then we have this one, then we have this zero here, and in the last we have a one. So in these three or four steps, we have successfully converted 45, which was in the decimal format, into its binary equivalent. So this, my friend, is the final answer on how to convert a decimal number into its binary equivalent using the most simplest method. So I hope that this video was informative enough and for more such videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics. This YouTube channel is all about mathematics, electronics and computer science. Thank you so much for watching. We'll meet in the next video.